Hey everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show you my five favorite restaurants in Edinburgh. I'll be starting with my all-time favorite restaurant, the Theatre Royale Bar, located on 25 Greenside Place. It's easy to find since it's almost directly next to the Playhouse, Edinburgh's most prominent theater. When you enter the building, you walk into the bar area of the restaurant. The bar is well visited during the late hours when groups of friends come here to enjoy a drink together. When you walk towards the back of the bar, you will find the restaurant area. While you are waiting to be seated, you can already have a look at all the posters from all the musicals that were played in the Playhouse Theatre. Here is the restaurant's menu. Feel free to pause the video if you want to have a better look at it. As you can see, the food isn't too expensive. And to be honest, I think the price really matches the quality of the food. It's amazing. Whenever I come here, I always order the salmon with green asparagus and linguine in champagne sauce. Also, this juicy rum steak is really recommendable. Even at night, this place looks absolutely stunning. The next restaurant is the famous Hard Rock Cafe, located on 20 George Street. This restaurant has a really nice outdoor seating area in case you would like to enjoy the lovely weather. Most of the time, the terrace is used in spring or summer, or when it's really warm enough to dine outside. But let's go back inside because it's way too cold to dine outside on this day. When you enter the restaurant, you have to wait to be seated. And I can only recommend you to make an online reservation because it can happen that the restaurant is fully booked and that you have to wait for a while. As in every hard work cafe, you will find many objects that were once owned by famous music artists. Think for example of the Red Hot Chili Peppers or Elvis. Let's have a look at the menu and feel free to pause the video again if you want to have a better look at it. I will only show you a few parts of the menu since their menu is very extensive. As you can see, Hard Rock Cafe isn't the cheapest restaurant to dine at. But I have to admit that their burgers and Caesar salad are really good. In general, I think everyone will find something that they like. The only question is whether they are willing to pay the price for it. We were really excited to have dinner here and whenever I eat at a Hard Rock Cafe, a cocktail is a must. Because Hard Rock Cafe has a lovely variety of cocktails and mocktails. This time we chose the original legendary burger and the smokehouse barbecue combo with pork and chicken. And after finishing your dinner, you can also visit the rock shop on your way out. Here you can buy really nice Hard Rock Cafe merchandise. My favorite Italian restaurant is Vittoria on the Bridge. This restaurant is located on 19 George IV Bridge. I dined here a couple of times and they really serve the best pasta. If you want to eat here, make sure that you make a reservation. Even though the guests can be seated on two floors, it might get busy at night. This is the menu and I couldn't find their menu online so I used the photo that I took of the menu. Please feel free again to pause the video, I hope that you are able to read it. So let's try to speak as an Italian. We had the spaghetti carbonara and the penna al pomodoro. <laughs> Both dishes were truly amazing. The following amazing restaurant and pub is Greyfriars Bobby, located on 30 Candlemaker Row. Remember the story of Bobby, the Sky Terrier who became known in 19th century Edinburgh for spending 14 years guarding the grave of his owner until he died in 1872? Well, this restaurant is named after him. 
The restaurant is separated in two areas. One area, the restaurant itself, is for people who want to order some food. The other part, the bar, is for people who only want to have a drink. It is very cozy and has delicious burgers. So let's have a look at the menu and once again feel free to pause the video in order to have a better look at it. When I studied in Edinburgh, I tried this delicious strawberry lime cider for the first time. I have been ordering this drink with my food ever since. So today I had the classic cheeseburger with garlic bread instead of fries and of course the strawberry lime cider. The other dish is the delicious beef brisket burger. The final restaurant is more like a lunch room or a place where you can enjoy some really nice snacks. It's the Johnny Walker Rooftop Bar located on 145 Princess Street. So this is the menu and as you can see it mainly consists of smaller dishes. But of course they also offer some dishes for people who are really hungry. What I like most about this restaurant is that it has a beautiful view on Edinburgh Castle. But we'll come to that later. Today we ordered the pulled pork donuts and they were super delicious. You have to keep in mind that a normal serving is only one donut. But let's be honest, one of the main reasons to come to Johnny Walker's rooftop bar is to have this stunning view on Edinburgh Castle. After you finished your lunch, dinner or drinks, you take the elevator down and you will end up in the Johnny Walker shop. It's really nice to have a look at all the different whiskies and souvenirs they sell. And if you get lucky, you even get asked if you would like to taste a dram of whiskey in the shop. Alright guys, this is it for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you liked this video. And if you have any recommendations for me to have lunch or dinner in Edinburgh, please drop them in the comments. And if you're curious to learn more about my trips in the future, don't forget to subscribe.